now to the latest on the Japanese nuclear crisis. Frustrating news for evacuees. Tens of thousands of people who left their homes near the Fukushima plant may not be allowed back for months. Japanese officials say the plant needs to be under control first. Radiation above the legal limit has been found in beef from the province where that damaged plant is located. The meat will not be sold, of course. More tests will be conducted on beef, chicken, and pork from the region. And 155 U.S. Marines trained in radiological operations are due to arrive in Japan shortly. The initial response force could help with radiation detection, search and rescue operations, and decontaminating people. As the nuclear crisis in Japan unfolds, many of us have been asking, what if, especially in cities where there's a nuclear reactor right next door? Alan Chernoff takes a look at one plant's evacuation plan. In the event of an accident at the Indian Point nuclear power plant, some nearby residents fear they'd be stuck, unable to flee. I don't think that we would be able to evacuate sufficiently. By law, Indian Point is required to have an emergency planning zone, a 10-mile radius from the plant. Westchester County, where the plant is located, would try to evacuate residents gradually. The evacuation may initially be for the people living in a two-mile ring and a five-mile downwind span. The direction of the wind could determine who needs to evacuate. Since Indian Point is located right on the Hudson River, in a valley between these hills, the wind tends to blow downstream towards Manhattan. In Japan, U.S. authorities are urging Americans within 50 miles of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to evacuate. For Indian Point, that radius would encompass New York City, which is just 25 miles away. Rush hour in New York. Heaven forbid there's a nuclear accident anywhere near here. There is no way everyone is evacuating quickly. It would be nuclear gridlock. Practically speaking, we couldn't really evacuate New York City. Well, there's not a scenario that we have where the dose rates or the radiation that would go out would require an evacuation in New York City. That's been at least identified up to this point. The county's chief executive says they're well prepared for a 10-mile evacuation. But if a 50-mile evacuation were ordered, it's a complete game changer. We would have to go back to the drawing board tomorrow and work day and night with multiple agencies, multiple jurisdictions. Alan Chernoff joins us now from New York. Alan, I'm not feeling any better. Well, that's understandable. Of course, a lot of counties are asking the NRC questions now after the NRC said in Japan it should be a 50-mile radius from which people should be evacuating. The plans here just call for a 10-mile radius. So county officials all over the country are highly concerned about this. And hopefully this is the wake-up call they need to, to fix these problems. And I know it's complicated, but there has to be a way to fix these problems, to solve them. Well, there are lots of detailed plans, but they all involve these emergency planning zones that are 10 miles in radius. Uh, so that's really where the focus has been, and this remains a question. We, we really need to learn a lot of lessons from what's going on right now in Japan, and it's going to take some time before we get all the information and we see what the outcome is in Japan as well. Alan Chernoff, many thanks.